Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Java JDK. Java JDK is one of the basic software requirement which is required by multiple softwares to run properly like Android Studio, Eclipse, NetBeans and many more. So let's start with that. First thing what we have to do is we have to just go over there and type CMD. There what we have to do is we have to first check that if Java JDK is installed in our system or not. For that you have to just write Java version and hit enter. Here you can see this Java is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file. It means that we don't have installed Java SDK on our system. So let me close this and first thing what we have to do is just fire up your browser and here just you have to search for Java JDK. Hit enter. There you will find the one that is the oracle.com and there you will find Java SE downloads. So just click on that. And here first thing what you have to install is this one JDK downloads. Just click on this. And here you can see multiple download option. If you are for Linux, for Mac OS and for Windows. So we have to download this one that is a Windows X64 installer. You can download accordingly with the latest version when you are watching this video. So you have to just download this one. Just click on this and a pop up will come on your screen and you have to just select this and click on this one. So when you click on this one, within few seconds the download will start it according to your internet connection speed. So here you can see this. This one is asking to store me on somewhere. So you can select this and click on save. When I click on save, here you can see this, the download is started. So I'm going to cancel this because I have already downloaded the setup. So I just canceled it. Let me close this. After this, what we have to do is just go where you have downloaded the file. So here I have stored the file which you have downloaded already that Java JDK. So what I'm going to do is just double click on this and it will start the installation as the other softwares. So it will ask for yes or no, the confirmation, do you want to install or no? So I just click on yes. And after this here, you can see this. Now Java installation startup is already started up. And after this, you have to just click on this next and either you can change the location or just leave it as it is. So for my system, I'm going to change this one. So I'm going to change this one to D and further i have few other folders and this one java jdk i'm going to install in this one and click on ok if you don't want to change you can just leave it just click on next and it's executing and within few seconds the setup will be done so here you can see this now the java se development kit 15.0.1 setup successfully so just let me just close this after this, what we have to do is now setup is done. So most important thing is to actually set the path Java variables. So for that, what we have to do is just go to the search box and there you have to type for nothing but environment variable. So here you can see this edit the system environment variable. Either you type environment or type simply type variable. You can simply find this. Just click on this and here you can find this one. That is the environment variable. You have to select this. Just click on this. After this, what you have to do is you have to just select this path. In this path, you have to just click on edit. When you new pop up will be shown like this. After this, you have to just click on new. And finally, what you have to do is just go to the system and search for JDK file where you have installed. By default, it's installed in the C drive programming files, but I have installed in the D inside this one. Java JDK and here you have to go inside the bin folder and you have to copy the path this one so I'm going to copy after this move back over here and what you have to do is just click on new and just paste it over here and click on ok now the path will be set now after this few software require Java home directory so for that, what we have to do is in the system variable, just click on new and here we have to write in the caps later Java underscore home. After this, go to the file where you have installed the JDK, move back and here you can see this all the files are over here for the Java JDK. So what you have to do is just copy this one. 
outside the bin folder and move back over here and just paste the variable value and click on OK. After this, what we, have, what we can see is now the task is done. What we have to do is just click on OK, OK and the task is done. Now so let's check if this Java is available or not. So go to the CMD and here what you have to do is you have to just write Java dash version and hit enter. And now here you can see this Java version 15.0.1 is now visible over here. It means that initially when I fired this command, we have seen that Java command is not identified or something error we have seen over there. So now when we fire this, it's showing the Java version. It means that our Java JDK file is installed successfully and it's the path is also set properly. Either we can check for this one too. Java C dash version. Here you can see this Java C version is also visible and this code is working fine. So if you want to work on NetBeans, now you can simply install the NetBeans and you can work it over there. Android Studio, you can simply download that and install it. In the further videos, I will show you how to do that too. So that's it for this video, guys. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.